Okay, it's the in the last episode we get you up and running with installing the tools for you to get started as a Swift developers, iOS developer. We we'll learn about variables in Swift, data types, and all of, of that stuff. In this video, I have some ideas here I want to share with you. The first thing I want to share with you is constants and operators. What it is, why do you want to use it? and how you can use it. Now, in the last video, we talked about variable. It is a way for you to store a piece of information and then you manipulate it, you do some stuff with that. That's what operators do. It helps you to do, let's say, arithmetic operators. It helps you to uh, add some numbers, you to just connect some string to division, multiply, multiplication, uh, addition, and subtraction. All of those things is what operators do. We'll so learn about we'll also learn about constants constants a way for you to store a piece of information but for sure you don't want to change its value with a variable you can change its value but with a constant you cannot change its value and that is very very helpful and very secure for you as a developer because there's a lot of times that you don't want to change a value variables value let's say uh, you want to have um, a tipped calculator and you don't want to change the tip percentage or you don't want to change the tax percentage because that is specifically in that state so let's talk about constant and operator in this demo and specifically I will show you how to build a tip calculator in this demo for this demo I'm going to create a new playground so let's name that code hangout and then we'll do Constants and operators like that and then click next I will save it there right there on my desktop and then it will change its location later now let's talk about constants and operator just reviewing the last video we create let's create some um, some variables and what I want to show you in this video is one to let's create a tip calculator you know when you go into some restaurants you need to calculate the tax and then the tip percentage and the total bill or maybe you go with just some friends and you want to uh, split the bill and you want to share the bill so let's create that why not right so that's var i will have a variable and we'll call that bill before tax and it is a double so let's do 550.0 let's say our bill is 50.0 and then how about our tax percentage var tax percentage which is also a double and we'll name uh put that six uh, percentage okay and then how about we have the number of people var number of people let's say it is an integer and we'll put that three Three people share the bill together. Now, let's talk about constants. Notice that we are doing a variable here, and because it is a variable, we can change its value into bill before tax into maybe like 69.2, right? But there are a lot of cases that we don't want to change its value. And in fact, in Swift, if you declare a, a variable as a constant, then it is more efficient for you and for Swift to process that data. So let's create an inst a, a constant. We'll do let, which is the syntax for you to create a constant, and we'll do tip percentage. How about we want to make it constant, and it is a double, equals to 15.0. Now notice, because it is a constant, if you try to change its tip percentage into like 2.0, you cannot do that and if you attempt to do that then you have an error here it says cannot assign to value t percentage is a let constant so you cannot do that in order to change that you make sure that this is a var a variable not a let constant so let's delete this line now let's create another variable and here i want to i want to calculate the tax amount Notice that we have the bill before tax and we have the tax percentage. So let's calculate the tax amount. Let tax amount, which is a double or two, and that equals, well, it equals to the bill before tax times 
multiplied with tax percentage, right? And notice that I don't use the X or we use the star, right? The asterisk and then divided by 100.0. So this is a division operator. This is what we call operator, the uh, multiplying and division. So the tax amount is 4.152. Now let's calculate the total bill too. That's total bill equals, which is a double, and that equals to bill oops, before tax plus the tax amount, right? Now, I want to give you a challenge. So pause the video now and then give me the tip amount. We have the bill before, I'm sorry, we have the total bill and then we have the tip percentage. So calculate for me the tip amount. And also, let's calculate which is, what is the bill that each people has to pay. We have three number of people here and we want to share the bill. So do the ch challenge now and then come back with me and check with me how you do it, okay? All right, I hope that you complete the challenge. Here's the way that I'm going to do this. So I will have another constant called tip amount and it's also a double. And let's do that equals to total bill times the tip percentage and then we'll divide it by 100.0, right? So now we have the tip amount. Now, in order to calculate the amount of um, the, the split bill each person has to pay, so we have to calculate the total, like the whole bill after tip, right? And we divide it by the number of people. Let's do that. Let uh, individual, individual bill equals to the total bill plus the tip amount, like that. And then we will divide it by number of people, okay? So notice, oops, this is also a double here. Individual bill is also a double. Now notice that we just got an error right here and this is a very, very bad error. Let's click onto that, it says binary operator division. It means that the operator here it needs two operand. It means that this is one operand right here and this also is an operand. Cannot be applied to operand see, of typed double and int. Well, what is that? Well, notice that the total bill we declare it as a double. The tip amount is also a double right here and the number of people it is an integer. So Swift is kind of stupid in this case or um, or rigid or like too structured because it cannot do a division among two different types. Yes, it can do a division among two integers, two doubles or two real uh, or two real values, right? For a double. Now, because this one here is a double and the number of people is an int. It cannot do that. In order to do that, we have to tell Swift that, hey, temporarily, I want you to consider the number of people is a double. Convert that for me into a double. And the way you do that is using a technique we call casting. So in order to cast, we do double, open parenthesis and close parenthesis at the end of that. And inside the parenthesis, we have the variable or the constant. And notice there's no error anymore and it do the division for us, 28.11 like that, okay? And the um, total bill is something like 90 or something, right? So that's how you use constants in operators. All right, guys, that's the tip calculator. Believe it or not, those lines of code that we just write, that's around 60% of what we will turn into a complete tip calculator that has user interface, user interaction that you can publish on the App Store. Now, the next topic in this video I want to share with you is something we call string. Notice that I used a quotation mark here. It means that in string is a they attacked and it is a sequence of characters. Whenever you want to create it, you create a variable or constant and save them. There's a lot of things involved in a string that you find yourself used a lot. So let's talk about that in this so let's demo. Let's talk about string. 
String and script is a sequence of characters, and you store that in a constant or a variable, right? Now, let's create a string called var name, and that equals to the, okay? You can put your name there. And notice that I don't have to specify what is the type of this variable called named because Swift can infer, okay, this is a very difficult word for me. Now, Swift can infer what is the type of the variable. So what it means is by just declaring that this is a variable with the name of name and you give it the value, the initial value of the with a question, a quotation mark like this, it knows that this name variable here, the type of it is a string. So in order to check it, don't take my word for granted, check it by using holding the option key on your Mac and then click into the name here. And it says declaration var name is a string. So notice that Swift just knows from the initial value here is a ver is a string, right? Next up, let's do a verb, which is some sort of string. Let's say we just declare explicitly declare the type of the variable. And we do loves. And then we do var noun equals to Swift. Okay. And then um, we do let, okay, so now we have these three variables, which is all string, which are all strings. Let's do, let's new sentence equals. What I want to do is connect these three string, strings together. Let's do name plus verb plus noun. Okay, let's see. And then on the right hand side, it should execute immediately. Just wait for it. There we go. Duke loves Swift. But notice that there's no spaces here. We have to add some spaces by using quotation mark, space, quotation mark, and then add here, quotation mark, and then plus, okay? And then we have spaces there. Now, this works on all strings together. We can connect strings together. But what if, like what if, we are building a social network app just like Facebook, right? And we want to have, uh, let's say, we want to have a string called, uh, I will use a comment here. A comment is the way that you can put in just documentation in your code without Swift executed. It doesn't have any effect on your code. So we just put a comment by using two backslash like this. And then let's say you want to have a string called Dixon has like 10,000 likes on his Facebook page, something like that, right? And in order to do that, let's say, just imagine that we are creating a social network app and we do my, let my Facebook page name equals to Dictran, right? Which is my page. And then we do let number of likes equals to 10,000. And then we do let the, um, how about the owner the name of the owner is his, right? We want to have this his over here. And what we want to do is having this text so that we can display on our Facebook page. And to do that, if we try to do let text equals to, because we have the trend, right? So we do my Facebook page name plus the trend, and then we plus has, that works. And then plus, number of likes because because we just have the trend and it has and then 10,000 likes. But notice that as soon as we do this, it says an error and it says binary operator plus cannot be applied to operands of type string and int. So what it says is, hey, you, you cannot do this. I don't know how to add a string and an integer. You cannot do that. That is not allowable. So we cannot use this, but we still want to have this string. And the reason why we don't want to like just hard coded this string, because what if this 10,000 change to 20,000? What if his turn into her? And what if the trend turn into like uh, Tracy, right? So we don't want to any time that there's some data change, we have to write it by ourselves, want to the computer change it its own. So how we can do that 
ground. We use a, a, a syntax in Swift. We call it string interpolation. Okay, I know it's a hard word. String interpolation like that. What it does is it creates a new string, and then inside a string, we have placeholders for us to put in code. There. So let's me demo that. We have a new string. Inside this, we want to put a placeholder so that we can put the value of a variable or a constant there. So we want to have my Facebook page name there. But if we just do my Facebook page name like this, it is a string, right? It's the content of the string. That's not work. But we have to do a forward slash, open and close parenthesis. And inside this open and close parenthesis, we have my Facebook page. See? And now it is Tracy. And notice if I changed it into like a uh, Taylor, like that. Taylor. And it's changed it by itself. Now let's have has. Notice that it has to outside of this parenthesis. Has um, number of likes, right? 10,000. Open and close, backslash first. And then number of likes. Outside of that, we have on. And then the owner, open and close parenthesis, forward slash, owner. And then, so we have Taylor has 20,000 on her. And then we do Facebook page. And then now it changes to Taylor has 20,000 likes. Oops, we missed the likes. Likes on her Facebook. That's page. it for this video and this demo. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I love it so much creating these video tutorials for you guys. So please do me a favor, go and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to deliver new videos, new training to you every single week. And also go to thetran.io. Oops, here. thetran.io. Visit me there at thetran.io and then you can join our newsletter. Get my new course for free to get started as an iOS developer. Hope that you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.